For decades, scientists and conservationists have studied our ecosystem and repeatedly emphasized on the urgent need to protect endangered species on the verge of extinction. On a mission to safeguard the vulnerable inhabitants of this planet, they have undertaken groundbreaking hybridization experiments. However, the unpredictable nature of hybridization occasionally yields unsettling results that challenge our understanding of the natural world. These hybrid animals are rare, and they are embodied by uncommon physical attributes and characteristic traits that encapsulate those of their parent species. Join us as we explore 15 scary hybrid animals that actually exist. Number 15. Killer Bees Killer bees, often feared for their aggressive nature and painful stings, are not your typical bees. Surprisingly, these tiny terrors are the result of human intervention, a scientific experiment gone awry in the 1950s. Back then, scientists sought to boost global honey production, and to achieve this goal, they embarked on a daring venture involving crossbreeding different bee species. This fateful fusion took place within the confines of a Brazilian laboratory, where the innocuous honeybee was merged with its African counterpart, giving birth to the infamous killer bee. Initially, these hybrid bees were intended to live in a controlled environment, far from the unsuspecting public. Unfortunately, nature had other plans, and the killer bees made their dramatic escape. Unlike many hybrid creatures, these bees were not only capable of producing honey, but also offspring, and they had a distinct characteristic that set them apart, an unwavering determination to protect their colony at any cost. While the sting of a single killer bee may not pose an extreme threat to most people, the real menace lies in their penchant for forming swarms. Encountering a solitary killer bee is a rarity, as they prefer to congregate in large, intimidating groups. These swarms of lethal insects are relentless, and once you find yourself in their vicinity, attempting to outrun them on two legs becomes a futile endeavor. As a result, it is no surprise that the emergence of killer bees has caused alarm and concern worldwide. Their rapid spread across the Americas, often referred to as the Africanized bee invasion, led to countless encounters with these fierce hybrids, prompting experts to devise strategies for managing their populations and mitigating their impact on ecosystems and human communities. Number 14. Jag Lion the enigmatic jag lion, a hybrid that emerges from the union of a male jaguar and a female lion, stands as one of the rarest and most captivating creations of nature. With only two reported specimens in history, it transcends the realm of the rare to become the epitome of the uber-rare. In 2006, the Bear Creek Wildlife Sanctuary in Ontario, Canada, bore witness to a unique celebration, the birth of two jag lions, Jizara and Tsunami. Their existence, however, wasn't the result of a carefully orchestrated breeding program. Instead, it unfolded through an unplanned date night between a jaguar and a hand-raised lioness. This unconventional union produced offspring that defied the norms of hybrid genetics. Jazara inherited her father's melanism gene, enveloping her in the sleek, inky allure of a jaguar, while Tsunami bore the spotted genes of her lioness mother, adorned in the signature coat of a lion. It's a stark departure from the typical hybrid pattern, where traits from both parent species intermingle in the offspring's DNA. DNA. Though it's reasonable to assume that there might have been other jag lions born throughout history, only two are officially documented in the 20th century. This scarcity lends credence to the notion that the jag lion might indeed be the rarest of all hybrids. Or perhaps it's merely an underappreciated gem in the world of hybrid creatures, waiting to be discovered. Number 13. Savannah Cat Savannah cats are a mesmerizing breed that seamlessly blends the grace of a domestic feline with the wild allure of an African serval. These cats look like they are on safari, but they are lounging in your living room. These cats have garnered worldwide attention, not only for their stunning appearance, but also for their unique personalities. However, their story isn't without its share of challenges, particularly when it comes to their wild ancestry. Born of the crossbreeding of a domestic cat, they are built like miniature cheetahs, boasting long, lithe bodies that seem tailor-made for adventure. Their coats are living masterpieces, adorned with bold, dark spots and stripes reminiscent of their serval lineage. From shimmering gold to silver and smoky hues, their coat colors are a testament to their wild heritage. In terms of size, savannah cats are the heavyweight champions of the domestic cat world. Males can tip the scales at over 20 pounds, and some have even stretched past the 30-pound mark. These are not your average lap cats. They're more like 
awe-inspiring, majestic companions. What truly sets Savannah cats apart, however, is their intelligence and energy. They possess a boundless curiosity that propels them into endless adventures around your home. Interactive play and mental stimulation are their bread and butter. They are constantly seeking out novel ways to keep their minds engaged. And if you thought cats were indifferent to fetch, think again. Savannah cats are known to play this game with as much enthusiasm as any dog, but their wild ancestry means they are not always predictable. While well-socialized Savannah cats can be affectionate and loyal, they may retain a touch of the untamed. Sometimes they exhibit behavior that veers toward the wild side, especially when they feel threatened or cornered. This unpredictability can manifest as aggression, turning a seemingly calm moment into an adrenaline-pumping encounter. Moreover, the legality of owning Savannah cats can resemble a patchwork quilt. Laws and regulations vary by location, with some regions prohibiting ownership altogether, while others require permits or impose specific conditions. Number 12. Wolfins. Holfins, hybrid offspring of false killer whales and bottlenose dolphins, are creatures that blur the lines between species and spark fascination among marine enthusiasts and the curious alike. These remarkable beings inherit physical traits from both their parent species, resulting in a unique and intriguing appearance. While holfins are a rare occurrence in the wild due to the differing habitats and behaviors of their parent species, they have made occasional appearances through human intervention in captivity. They often exhibit the sleek and playful demeanor of bottlenose dolphins, while hints of the powerful and majestic false killer whales can also be seen in their physical characteristics. This blend of traits creates a captivating and charismatic creature that defies easy categorization. Holfins share behavioral traits with their parent species, showcasing intelligence, agility, and a strong social nature. They are known for their graceful swimming and playful interactions with other dolphins. In many ways, they are the embodiment of the ocean's playful spirit, a harmonious blend of the sea's most remarkable residents. Spotting a holfin in the wild is an exceedingly rare event. False killer whales and bottlenose dolphins tend to inhabit distinct oceanic regions and have different behavioral patterns. This, coupled with the natural rarity of hybridization events in the wild, makes true holfin sightings a nearly mythical experience. Among the few documented holfins, one individual stands out. Kei Kaimalu. Born in 1985 at Sea Life Park in Hawaii, she became a living legend as one of the world's first known holfins. Her name, which means from the peaceful ocean in Hawaiian, encapsulates the serenity and intrigue that surround these hybrid marvels. One curious aspect of holfins is their reproductive complexity. While they are the offspring of two different species, they are often sterile and unable to produce offspring of their own. This characteristic is common in hybrids resulting from species with significant genetic differences, underscoring the challenges of interbreeding between distinct genera. Notably, holfins themselves are not the focus focus of conservation efforts, as they do not constitute a distinct species or subspecies. Instead, their parent species, the false killer whale and the bottlenose dolphin, are the primary subjects of conservation concerns. Protecting these parent species is crucial for the preservation of marine biodiversity and the potential for more natural interbreeding events in the wild. Number 11. Growler Bear the Growler Bear, sometimes affectionately known as the Pisley Bear, is a remarkable and rare hybrid creature born from the unexpected union of two of Earth's most formidable predators, the Grizzly Bear and the Polar Bear. This intriguing bear hybrid shows the unique blend of characteristics inherited from both of its parent species. They often display the creamy, snow-white fur of their polar bear forebears, adorned with patches of brown or tan fur reminiscent of grizzly bears. These striking markings create a captivating, mottled appearance that distinguishes distinguishes them from their parents. In terms of size, growler bears vary, but they can reach impressive proportions, making them among the largest terrestrial carnivores on the planet. The range of growler bears is tied to regions where the habitats of polar bears and grizzly bears intersect, primarily in the Arctic and subarctic regions of North America. These areas include parts of Canada and Alaska, where the effects of climate change are most pronounced. The growler bear's existence is intricately linked to climate change, particularly the warming of the Arctic. As the Arctic environment environment transforms, sea ice diminishes, forcing polar bears to spend more time on land. This shift in behavior brings them into contact with their grizzly counterparts, occasionally resulting in hybridization. The Grolar bear, with its distinct blend of traits and behaviors, is thus a living example of adaptation in response to shifting ecosystems. In terms of diet and behavior, Grolar bears showcase a mix of polar bear and grizzly bear tendencies. Like their polar bear ancestors, they are powerful swimmers, expertly hunting seals 
seals and other marine mammals in frigid Arctic waters. Their sleek bodies and webbed paws make them agile in the water, a trait inherited from their polar bear lineage. This aquatic prowess allows them to navigate the icy seas in pursuit of their primary prey. On land, the growler bear reveals its versatility. While they may not possess the massive hump characteristic of grizzly bears, they share their terrestrial counterparts' fondness for exploring the tundra and foraging for sustenance. This includes seeking out plant roots, berries, and the occasional small mammal. This diverse diet demonstrates their adaptability and ability to switch between hunting strategies, a valuable trait in an ever-changing environment. Number 10. Koi Dog the koi dog is also known as the koi wolf. This elusive hybrid represents an astonishing fusion of the coyote and man's best friend, the domestic dog. But don't let its name fool you. This hybrid harbors a unique blend of characteristics and an intriguing mystery that spans the realms of appearance, behavior, and even controversy. When you encounter a koi dog, you're in for a visual treat. They usually have a coyote-like body, a bushy tail, and fur ranging from ethereal gray to fiery reddish brown. However, it's not just about wild allure. The exact look varies based on the specific breeds of dogs involved in the mix. Koi dogs are the ultimate blend of two worlds, coyotes and domestic dogs. They are often hailed for their intelligence, adaptability, and survival instincts, showcasing the best of both lineages. Some koi dogs lean towards their wild roots, their behavior mirroring the untamed spirit of the coyote. Others, shaped by their upbringing and socialization, display more dog-like traits, highlighting the intriguing spectrum of their personalities. Their vocal symphony is an orchestra of barks, howls, and yips. These sounds may resemble those of the wild coyote more than those of the average domestic dog. The range of koi dogs extends far and wide across urban sprawls and untamed wilderness. Their adaptability knows no bounds as they navigate both worlds. Yet, this versatility comes with a twist, a hybrid's flair for survival combined with a knack for fitting into urban landscapes. Koi dogs are not mere novelties. They are often fertile and capable of reproducing with one another or with their parent species. This fact, however, has raised concerns about potential hybridization with native coyotes. Such hybridization can result in animals that exhibit a complex mix of physical traits and behaviors, making them a challenging puzzle for wildlife managers to solve. Like a creature born of myth, koi dogs inspire both awe and concern. Some hail them as an exciting part of the natural world's ongoing narrative, while others view them as a potential threat to local ecosystems. The controversy surrounding Surrounding their existence deepens as we attempt to understand and manage their presence. Number 9. Geep the Jeep is an intriguing union of a sheep and a goat. Although these two animals are closely related, they belong to different genera within the Bovidae family, making successful hybridization an extraordinary event. At first glance, the Jeep may appear as if it were plucked from the pages of a mythical bestiary. Its physical characteristics show a blend of its sheep and goat lineages. Geeps often exhibit a curious combination of features, with some resembling sheep, sporting woolly fleeces, and others showcasing the slender forms and, occasionally, the distinctive horns of goats. This visual medley underscores the incredible diversity that arises from nature's genetic experiments. One of the most remarkable aspects of the geep is its reproductive peculiarity. In most cases, geeps are sterile and unable to produce offspring. This reproductive dead end is a common outcome when species from different genera attempt to interbreed. The differences in chromosome numbers and genetic makeup between sheep and goats result in hybrid sterility, a tantalizing genetic puzzle that continues to intrigue some scientists. They are a rarity in the wild, primarily because sheep and goats have distinct habitat preferences and mating behaviors. Most documented geeps are the result of controlled breeding experiments or accidental crossings within domesticated settings. The first reported instances of geeps were observed in the early 20th century in Europe and North America. Number 8. Linger. Ligers are animals that embody a fascinating blend of genetics, gigantism, and enigma. While they may seem like mythical beasts, these captivating hybrids arise from the union of a male lion and a female tiger, resulting in a creature that defies the conventions of its parentage. They are living genetic marvels, pure embodiments of hybrid vigor. Their genetic makeup represents a blend of both parental species, with each aspect of their physiology revealing a captivating fusion of leonine and tigress traits. But what 
truly sets them apart is their astounding size. The Liger's most striking characteristic is its sheer enormity. These magnificent creatures can grow to be much larger than either parent, weighing in at a colossal 1,200 or more pounds. On paper, this might sound like an advantage for the Linger, but it is actually an ailment. The Ligers suffer from gigantism, a condition where their enormous size becomes a burden too great for their bodies to bear. Their excessive weight puts tremendous strain on their internal organs and hearts, leading to a tragically short lifespan. Most Ligers succumb to their weight-related health issues at a young age, highlighting the harsh reality that accompanies their remarkable size. Despite their unique challenges, Ligers are fertile creatures. They can mate with other Ligers, Tigers, and Lions, adding another layer of intrigue to their existence. However, the prospect of Liger offspring raises questions about the potential for gigantism and its associated health risks to be perpetuated in future generations. While Ligers exist in zoos and sanctuaries, they remain a rare sight. In the wild, the concept of a Liger roaming the savanna remains a fanciful notion. These magnificent beings are relegated to human care, where they serve as a living paradox. Number 7. Tigon the offspring of a male tiger and a female lion is often overshadowed by its more famous cousin, the Liger. The Tigon possesses its own unique qualities and mysteries that render it a subject of fascination and study. Its existence emerges from a reversed pairing compared to the Liger. In this captivating union, a male tiger joins with a female lion, resulting in a creature that carries within its genetic makeup the distinct traits of both parent species. While the Liger is generally known for its gentle and even tempered nature, Nature. The Tigon breaks the mold entirely. It embodies the formidable personalities of its parent species, the lion and the tiger, two of the jungle's most legendary predators. This often translates into a temperament that is aggressive, dangerous, and at times, violently fierce. The most intriguing aspect of the Tigon's personality is its internal struggle, a psychological tug of war shaped by the opposing behaviors of its parents. Lions are inherently social, forming prides, while tigers are solitary hunters. The Tigon, born into this genetic male grapples with a profound identity crisis. It yearns for companionship, mirroring the social instincts of its lion parent, yet simultaneously craves the solitude that defines its tiger heritage. This inner conflict often leads to an overwhelming sense of confusion and a surprising consequence. Depression is. Despite the Tigon's tumultuous inner world, its external appearance is nothing short of spectacular, adorned with the majestic stripes inherited from its tiger parent. Number 6. Kama. The Kama is born from the unexpected fusion of a male camel and a female llama. Though the parent animals may seem worlds apart, beneath their seemingly disparate exteriors lies a shared genetic thread. This genetic commonality provided the foundation for the audacious experiment that led to the creation of the Kama. The story of the Kama begins in 1997, when South American scientists crossed the Atlantic to England with a lofty goal in mind to create an animal capable of producing copious amounts of wool, surpassing the llama's wool production. But they didn't stop there. They sought to combine this woolly prowess with the size and strength of a camel, all while ensuring a cooperative temperament. It was a scientific undertaking that pushed the boundaries of genetic engineering and ambition. In 1998, the first comma was born, but it arrived with a less than stellar reputation. Its terrible and uncooperative behavior disappointed its creators. However, in the face of adversity, the scientists remained undeterred. They persisted with their experiments, and by 2008, they had successfully produced five commas. These hybrid animals would prove to be a sound investment. For those who had poured their resources into this playing god endeavor, the payoff came in the form of wool. Most of the commas fulfilled the scientists' ambitions by achieving the desired wool production. Today, the comma is still used for wool production in Dubai and has become a fully domesticated animal. It's a testament to the boundless possibilities that emerge when science and genetics intersect. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. In this picture, we see a special lion called the Ethiopian Black Lion. These lions are quite rare and live in the rough and wild landscapes of Ethiopia. Local stories and traditions have made these Ethiopian Black Lions even more mysterious. Some tales say they protect hidden treasures and secrets buried in the rugged land of Ethiopia. These stories add a sense of wonder to these special creatures, but these Black Lions face some big challenges to survive. Their homes are disappearing, and people are moving into their territory. This 
this is making it hard for them to live in the wild. People who care about animals and the environment are working together to help these lions. They're trying to protect where the lions live and telling others why it's important. Have you ever encountered a creature so uniquely captivating? Share your thoughts on this majestic big cat and its mysterious black coat. Do you have any wildlife encounters or tales of your own to add to the rich mythology surrounding these lions? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. Spider Goat in the world of scientific discovery, few tales are as extraordinary as the one that revolves around the spider goat, a captivating fusion of the improbable and the innovative. It was in the early 2000s that a research team at the University of Utah embarked on a quest that would blur the lines between species and unlock the secrets of spider silk's incredible properties. The spider goat's story begins with Dr. Randy Lewis, a visionary scientist driven by a singular mission to harness the remarkable qualities of spider silk for the benefit of humanity. Alongside molecular biologist Dr. Jeffrey Turner, he set out on a path that would challenge the boundaries of genetic engineering. At its core, the spider goat is the offspring of the experiment that was an attempt to merge the genes of a goat and a spider. This novel approach involved inserting spider silk producing genes into the DNA of a goat. The result was a remarkable genetic marvel, goats capable of producing milk infused with proteins akin to spider silk. The magic of spider goats lies not in their physical appearance, but in their ability to produce a substance known as biosteel. This extraordinary material is characterized by its strength, surpassing that of conventional steel while remaining exceptionally lightweight and flexible. Biosteel is poised to revolutionize a multitude of industries, from aerospace engineering to medical advancements. Beyond their material contributions, spider goats and biosteel production offer a host of ethical and environmental advantages. They present a sustainable alternative to resource-intensive manufacturing processes. Spider goats produce bio-steel without resorting to harmful chemicals, emphasizing cruelty-free and eco-friendly practices. As scientists refine and expand their applications, spider goats may play a pivotal role in reshaping industries, advancing environmental sustainability, and enhancing human well-being. Number 4. Zonkey the Zonkey, also known as the Zedank or the Vezidonk, is undoubtedly one of the most famous and captivating hybrid animals on our planet. This extraordinary creature is the result of a unique pairing between a zebra and a donkey, making it one of the purest examples of a zebroid hybrid. Creating hybrid animals is a complex endeavor that is often most successful when the parent species are genetically similar, as in the case of the zebra and donkey. Attempting to hybridize vastly different creatures like a donkey and a whale would be an entirely different and plausible challenge. The zonkey is a rare find in the wild due to the unlikely romance between a zebra and a donkey. Any existing zonkeys are undoubtedly the product of human intervention and selective breeding. Fortunately, these hybrids are anything but deadly, relying on their charm rather than ferocity to capture our hearts. Zonkeys typically inherit a combination of traits from both parents, often displaying zebra-like striping on their legs, accompanied by the familiar hee-haw when they communicate. These zebra-donkey hybrids represent a harmonious blending of the best of both worlds, but they come with a unique twist. Zonkeys are a one-time deal. They cannot reproduce and create more zonkeys. Each one is a distinct and irreplaceable individual, making them all the more special in the realm of hybrid animals. If you ever find yourself in Tijuana or another locale and come across a fully striped zonkey, exercise caution, as it might just be a donkey with cleverly applied black and white paint. However, for a genuine glimpse of this captivating hybrid, you're best off visiting a special zoo or sanctuary that cares for these remarkable and one-of-a-kind creatures. The Zonkey, with its unusual charm and unique status in the world of hybrids, continues to captivate and fascinate those lucky enough to encounter it. Number 3. Hinny Unlike the well-known Zonkey, the Hinny is the result of a rather unconventional pairing, a female donkey and a male horse, a union that might be considered anything but heavenly. The Hinny is, in essence, the antithesis of a mule, characterized by its diminutive stature when compared to its more renowned cousin. However, its size does not diminish its capabilities. In fact, it possesses surprising strength, particularly in its robust legs. Despite its compact frame, the Hinny offers more muscle power than one might expect 
from a pack animal of its size. This blend of strength and size makes it an intriguing and versatile creature. What distinguishes the hinny from the mule is its aesthetic appeal. While mules are often seen as utilitarian workhorses, the hinny boasts a more visually pleasing appearance, including a well-groomed and overall better-looking mane. It's a subtle but intriguing contrast that sets the hinny apart in the realm of hybrid animals. When it comes to intelligence, the hinny may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but it possesses a practical and pragmatic nature. It might not dazzle with its intellect, but it understands how to get the job done, making it a reliable and effective worker. The curious nomenclature of the hinny raises questions about why the offspring of a male donkey and a female horse is called a mule. While the inverse pairing results in a hinny, the answer lies in the dominant traits of the mother. In this case, the hinny's mother, the donkey, is significantly smaller than the horse that sired it. This size differential plays a pivotal role in shaping the resulting hybrid animal. Number 2. Beefalo in a world where humans have an insatiable love for beef, scientists have concocted a solution to help match the supply of beef to its demand, known as the beefalo. Born from a human-led breeding endeavor, the beefalo is the remarkable offspring of a male cow and a female bison. Unlike some other hybrids, the history of the beefalo dates back several centuries. The earliest recorded sighting of a beefalo dates all the way back to 1749, a serendipitous occurrence in the American South. However, it was not until about a century later that settler purposely purposefully began breeding beefalo, driven by the hope that these super cows would not only yield more milk than traditional cows, but also endure the harsh winter conditions. The beefalo, though challenging to manage, proved to be a success, primarily due to its remarkable ability to reproduce. The beefalo offers not just increased meat yield, but also a healthier alternative. Compared to conventional cattle, beefalo meat is leaner, boasting lower levels of fat and cholesterol, making it a more health-conscious choice for consumers. With its curious blend of genetics and a history that weaves through time, the beefalo holds promise for an intriguing future in the meat industry. As scientists continue to explore ways to enhance meat production while addressing health and sustainability concerns, number one, Leopon. These are the offspring of a male leopard and a female lion. While ligers, tigons, and growler bears have captured our imagination, the Leopon is a truly extraordinary creation, with only a few of its kind ever known to exist, all carefully bred in captivity. These majestic creatures possess a striking blend of features that make them a sight to behold. They usually have the regal head of a lion, complete with a magnificent mane and formidable jaws, combined seamlessly with the elegant spotted body of a leopard. The Leopon's appearance is a harmonious harmonious fusion of two of the most iconic big cats on the planet. If a leopon were to find its way into the wild, it would undoubtedly become the apex predator of its habitat, a master of stealth and ambush. With its leopard-like spots providing exceptional camouflage, it would effortlessly stalk its prey through the jungles and savannas. Fortunately, the likelihood of such an event remains remote, as leopons are predominantly found in captivity. The story of the leopon dates back to the early 20th century in India, where the very first Leopon was successfully bred. Over a century later, it's estimated that there are just around a hundred of these mesmerizing creatures left in existence today. This limited population has earned them a place on the endangered species list. These remarkable hybrids symbolize the delicate dance between conservation efforts and the preservation of extraordinary genetic diversity. As we marvel at their unique appearance and history, we are reminded of our responsibility to protect and conserve the creatures that share our planet, no matter how rare or unusual they may be. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.